Hey, what's up, Alex here. I've talked about replacing my Xiaomi lock for a super long time already. I've been waiting for a lock that is able to work with my smart home setup. It must be a mortise push pull because we are so used to that already. And most importantly, which is also the hardest and why it's taking such a long time, is the wipe approval factor. Finally, I got one and have been using it for around three months already. This is the Yo Luna Pro. This is actually Yo's first push pull lock. And as you can see from the video thumbnail, this lock comes with a face scanning feature that can be used to unlock the door. So it's also their first smart lock with facial recognition technology. Don't think about installing these mortise locks yourself, especially when it requires drilling. Leave that to the experienced expert. Buying your locks in Singapore include installation and setup. Everything took around 2 hours time to complete. According to Yo, the door thickness has to be between 35 to 100 mm. From outside, the depth of the lock is 5 cm. So I guess most of the houses shouldn't have a problem installing this. After installing the lock, you can see some uncovered wallpaper areas. Because the last time when we did the wallpaper wrap of the door, we just simply cut the wallpaper around the lock instead of removing it. So I'm thinking of giving the whole door a new look as well because my old black wallpaper, there are already a lot of white patchy marks in the middle and also lots of scratch marks by Duffy when he was still a puppy. Happily scratching it when nobody's home. This time round, I decided to try out the 3M Die Knot films. In Singapore, Jestech is the only authorized distributor for these films. I had a hard time choosing the design, so one good service they provide is mailing the samples over to you. It helps me to decide changing to a lighter color to make this entrance area look a lot brighter. In terms of workmanship, I must say I am very impressed. I didn't expect them to remove the lock, but they did. All the edges and corners are almost flawless. This 3M film, for your info, they are highly durable and excellent resistance to water, stains, mold, and scratches. I love the texture, the look and feel everything. Overall, very satisfied with the final look together with the lock. If you are interested to get the same, the design I picked is AE-1638. Reach out to Jestech if you want to find out more. Okay, so let's look at the design of the Yeo Luna. The main front and back color of the lock is in matte black with some gold touches around and at the sides. Under the light, the gold color really stands out to me. The front design I would say is pretty unique. It is designed in such a way that when you place your thumb on the sensor, and very naturally the rest of the fingers will hold on to this gap opening which acts like the handle of the lock. For unlocking options, you have standard pin code, RFID, fingerprint, and a key for feel safe. I would say the fingerprint sensor technology that you find on the new locks today is very mature already. The unlocking time takes about 1 second. There are two versions of the Yeo Luna. The plus version will come with these cameras here if you want facial unlock. Here are the guidelines in terms of the height that it's able to detect and distance from which you should stand from the lock. Since this is a fully automatic push-pull lock, once it's unlocked, you can push the door open without touching the lock. So the big question here is, is the facial scan good and reliable? I would say the result is not very consistent in terms of the speed it recognizes your face to unlocking the door. About 70% of the time, it takes around 3 seconds. Rest of the 30% can vary from 6 to 10 seconds. So facial unlock is definitely not going to replace fingerprint in terms of the unlocking speed. Fingerprint is still going to be much faster and more reliable. But one thing I realized after some time is, Actually, all these new unlocking ways are not meant to replace one another, but kind of work together in providing that additional unlocking option. So for example, when we want to take our rubbish out to throw, I don't want to touch and dirty the lock, so I will use facial unlock. Another example is when I go out for my run, I'll be coming back all sweaty. Fingerprint sensor don't work well when your hands are wet. So, same thing, I will then use facial to unlock. If you're one of those that always struggle with fingerprint sensors over an immigration counter, then this is very useful for you. It is also easier for elderly parents. I set up facial scan for my mom because she never remembers her password. Sometimes she will struggle to find where the sensor is or it can be that their fingerprints are a bit worn off already. Facial unlock is so much easier for her. But if you don't need this feature, then you can always go for the non-plus model and save some cost here. To unlock from the inside, you will need to press this button and also place your fingers on the handle which has a touch sensor. This is actually a very good anti-theft feature. Opening the battery housing, 
on top is the module to make the lock smart. You can see the Apple HomeKit pairing code. More about smart home integrations later. For the battery, you can see this is a rechargeable lithium battery. Based on the paper specs, charging time is approximately 6 to 8 hours. Every full charge can last for 6 to 8 months. Of course, depending on your usage. I only use this for 3 months, so I have not charged this before yet. So I can't comment whether this is accurate. Note that this is different for the non-plus version where it's using the standard AA batteries. What I like most about the Yolox is actually more at the software side. My number one favorite feature is the Joe Fencing Unlock. Inside the app, it's under automation called Auto Unlock. So basically what it does is, based on your phone's location services, it will first detect that you have left your house. And then once you're back to a certain parameter near your house, the app will go into a standby state ready to unlock. It uses a Bluetooth proximity sensor such that once it detects that your phone is within 1 to 2 meters away from the lock, it will then automatically unlock by itself. 100% contactless. It is not going to be faster than fingerprint, but I would say very close. In cases like if you are running back home because you urgently need to use the toilet, you don't even have time to take off your shoes. Then of course, you are still going to use your fingerprint. To share with you my day-to-day -day actual usage, the most is actually facial unlock because I always use that when I go and throw rubbish and I do that a few times a day. Second is geofencing. By the time I open the gate and take off my shoe, usually it's already unlocked. If somehow the automation is not triggered for some reason, I wouldn't intentionally wait for it to happen. If it's triggered, good. If not, just use fingerprint. If you get what I mean, these smart features shouldn't get in your way. Now let's take a look at the smart home integrations and I will show you how responsive is the status of the log captured on the various platforms. First is on Google Home. For Google Home, you can set routines but only when the status is locked. Next for Apple HomeKit. For the automation trigger, there is both lock and unlock. Here in SmartThings, it's interesting because I can see the battery percentage which is not even there in the yield set. But I'm not sure how accurate this is yet. In terms of automation triggers, you can set for all these three data points you see here. You also have native integration with Home Assistant, which is also one of the main reasons why I decided to go with Yo Locks. To sum up my review, here are the pros, or rather things I find really stand out against the rest of the locks. High quality build material, facial recognition that works well, not 100% perfect but good enough in my opinion. Most reliable geofencing unlock, and lastly, best smart home integration. For the cons or reasons why you might not want to get it is, the reload time is not immediate. Yes, about 3 seconds lag. Using a rechargeable lithium battery for the plus model, some of you might not like this because the lifespan of the battery will decrease over time. But some might prefer this because you don't need to replace batteries. Lastly, the premium price. If this is within your budget, definitely go check it out. With that, thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye.